everyone thank you so much for joining in uh welcome to this uh, online tutorial my name is adiola and i'm going to be teaching you how to make a crinoline flower for your embellishment you can use this for your heart embellishment you can use this for your uh fascinator for your little one you can also just attach this to your top band or your head wrap so quickly let's get started i have my crinoline right here and this is six inches you can also work with your three inches crinoline okay i have my sheer scissors right here which is the zigzag scissors and i have my normal scissors i have my measuring tape my uhu gum my wording breast pad or felt whichever one is fine and i also have my matching thread and needle just so you know you can use a fishing line as your needle but because it's quite difficult for um to use and it, it consumes time as a beginner so you might consider using your thread just so you know you can use your matching thread in place of fishing line so quickly let's get started welcome back so i've cut uh, my crinoline and i will show you the measurements for each of this piece now i'll be needing just one long piece of 12 inches just one piece okay of 12 inches long and five pieces of seven inches long okay so i have five of this one two three four and five and just one piece and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to use my thread right here that i've just put into four um lines and i'm just going to go ahead and cover up the edges right here i'm going to cover up both edges and i'll do the same for all the other pieces so i'll just get my thread and i'm just going to tie this way i'm going to tie it very well and then tie a knot and cut off the excess thread Okay, after cutting the excess thread, they're going to use your, um, you can use your hot glue or you can also use your UHU glue to just apply to this edge right here. Okay, just tie it so well. And after tying your knot this way, just apply your UHU glue this way. Just attach it to the edge right here so it doesn't go off. So by the time I use my hand to hold this in place and allow it to dry, then I can go ahead and cut out my excess thread. So I'm going to do the same for all the two edges and all the edges of the 7 inches crinoline also. And when I'm done, I will show you how it looks like back um now that i've tied all the edges of my crinoline this is the longest of the size and the other ones are just the short one I've, I've done the four pieces and i'm going to show you how i did the four pieces before i proceed to how to make the long one so this is how it looks after tying the knot by both at both edges i'm just going to take my um, needle and thread and i'm going to just pleat at the tip of the fold right here and I'm going to be pleating it till I get to the other end. This way, nice and easy. And then I'm going to just pull it together this way. Okay, I'm just going to be pulling it this way and when they come together i'm going to have like a scoop okay and as it says i'm just going to go ahead and just tie this way several times and then i'm going to tie a knot at the edge so after tying the knot at the edge as it says i'm just going to cut off my excess thread right here and then i'm going to just you can tie it one more time just to secure the thread permanently and like i said if you are using fishing line it's more difficult to work with it so as a beginner you can decide to use your thread but make sure that it's a matching thread and this is how it looks like and i have other pieces right here 
making five pieces in total okay and then for the longer length what i'm going to be making is just like a little rose that is going to stay in between the flower you know like the rose board in between and i'm just going to hold it this way okay and still pleat towards the end right now okay i'm just placing it towards the end and i'm going to pleat it till i get to the middle part right here just like this and when i've got into the middle parts right here i'm just going to go ahead and roll it okay like i'm going to roll it this way i'm going to be rolling it okay can you see i'm going to roll it i will tack it in place to secure that rolled part i will just tack it in place to secure it and then I'm going to continue with the pleating, okay? It's so easy to make and it's so beautiful, okay? So now that it's secured, I can remove my hand and then I continue to pleat towards the edge again. So this is how I'm going to continue and then I'm going to roll. So as I pleat, I roll. Okay, so this is how it's going to look like this way and then i'm going to roll it again okay can you see how it looks very beautiful and i'm going to tack it in place so as soon as you make your roll make sure you secure it properly before you move on if not it's just going to pull right back on so i'm securing it right now secure it tightly and also if you notice that my thread is long because I'm not going to cut off the excess thread at this point. I'm going to be using it just to finish up. So, and this is what I have right here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and just close this up. Like, I'm going to just tack this right now. So I'm going to tack this in. Just tack the edge to secure it. So, um, while the reason why, if you're, if you're using a... A smaller crinoline like the three inches crinoline it can also work perfectly for you okay it will work perfectly and also my measurements is because of this size so if you want to achieve this particular size uh, of rose follow the same measurement okay if not you can just increase your size if you want a bigger root or just go ahead and decrease your size so this is what I have right here, and this is my rose board. Can you see how beautiful it looks? And then I'm going to start attaching this other part to the sides, okay? I'm just going to be tacking it in. Basically, fishing line does the work perfectly, and it gives you invisible tacking, but at the same time, it takes time. So this is like an alternative method of how to make yours, okay? So I'm going to be tacking it tacking the other smaller pieces just round um, round the rose board like just round about it okay and this is the second piece and I'm going to be tacking it by the side as well okay just go ahead and continue to tack It's quite easy to make, but you need to take your time. Okay, so just go ahead and tack it inward, outward. Okay, just tack it as you deem fit. Just make sure that you don't have any loose parts in between right here. And the way it looks is looking beautiful. And then I'm going to add the third one just right beside it this way and then i'll still continue to tack it in just continue to tack it in and so i'm going to continue to tack it in so basically what i'm trying to show you here is for you to know how to attach 
uh, make your crinoline flower so it doesn't look strange to you anymore and you can also use this for your embellishments for whatsoever design you like to create and this can also go for your bridal train okay for weddings and just a beautiful headpiece um, on a budget okay so I've attached the third one right here and this is how it looks and then the fourth one I'm going to attach and then the fifth one so as soon as I finish I'm going to show you how it looks like and then how to cover up the back for neat finishing okay so here is my crinoline flower right here so for you if you feel that this inside part is not looking neat enough you can just put like a uh, pearls to just glue it down inside to cover it up so um i'm just going to tie the thread right now as it sees and then i'm going to cut off my excess um thread and then i'm just going to cover it up neat and nice okay so you can go ahead and try yours with um the crinoline you won't even use up to one yard i guess because i didn't measure that i just cut it out but one yard should be able to make this piece this beautiful um, piece for you and this is how it looks like even the back is looking beautiful you know as it is you can just embellish this like you can just put a trimming right here without the rose without this road rose board you can just put it this way and just cover up this part and it's looking beautiful so i have my felt right here and i'm going to i'm going to be using my zigzag scissors just to cut a round shape that is round enough to cover up the back part okay you can use your hot glue your hot glue is your best bet for permanent stay but if you're just if you're still going to be attaching this to um something you can just attach it to your brooch or whatever it is that is um, that you desire so i'm going to be using uhu okay and then i'm just going to be using it to cover it up neat and nice do not leave the back of your um, product or your millinery do not leave it open okay it has to look um, neatly finished so this is how it looks and then i'm going to just cover this up nice and easy okay i will leave it to dry so this is how it looks right here okay so here is a crinoline flower looking very beautiful and creative i hope you have gotten value from this video you can go ahead and um, um just follow subscribe to our youtube channel at allured by ruby and also you can join our facebook group at allured by ruby online headwear academy and also our instagram handle is at allured by ruby okay and please take note that our vi this video particularly is not for sale like it's a free tutorial okay and if anybody is selling this to you in a paid class probably a whatsapp or a telegram class you can go ahead and contact 081 i'll repeat 081 thank you for joining in i will see you in my next tutorial bye for now